Hi, I'm Brian with Intel. As you may have heard, Intel's Stratix 10 FPGAs are shipping. In this video in our series, I'm going to show you the Intel HyperFlex FPGA architecture. To meet the needs of data processing for next generation high performance systems, FPGAs need to quickly process the data in the core fabric after getting the information from the transceivers. And with HyperFlex FPGA architecture in Stratix 10, you can achieve two times the Fmax performance. Let's go through a design example that shows the three optimization steps and see the results ported to one of the Stratix 10 development boards. This design example is based on a hash algorithm, a security function to ensure data integrity. The design was ported to the Stratix 10 signal integrity board. We're running both designs side by side within the same Stratix 10 FPGA and sending the respective clock speeds to the LCD display and the oscilloscope here. We've slowed down the signal so you can see the relative difference between the original design here, which is running slowly, and the hyper-optimized design here, which is running much more quickly. Now that we've seen the results, let's take a look at how to achieve this performance. I'm going to show you the software design flow for Stratix 10 FPGAs. Starting with your original RTL code, the designer would go through a normal compilation, which includes the hyper-retiming step. By using the fast-forward compile option, the software will automatically recommend where to add additional pipelining and identify any bottlenecks for hyper-optimization. By implementing these recommendations back into your RTL, you recompile the design again to see the results. Continue following fast-forward compile recommendations and iterating your RTL until you achieve the desired performance increase. The RTL code used in this example is a 512-bit input representing the data message, along with four initialization vectors of 32 bits each. The output is four words of 32 bits each. We chose this hash function because it uses a very wide data input combined with an iterative style algorithm. Here are the results for the original unoptimized design, targeting the slowest speed grade Dash 3 Stratix 10 ES device. We then implemented the recommendations shown in the fast forward compilation report. We added pipeline stages and restructured the logic to break the big combinatorial computation into smaller, faster blocks. Now let's see the report file after all the optimizations. Visit altera.com slash stratix demos to view our other videos and to order dev kits and devices.